Hi, I'm Larry Karaszewski and welcome to Trailers from Hell. I grew up obsessed with motion pictures, so there's always been a, a soft spot in my heart for movies about movies. It's almost its own genre. Eight and a Half, Day for Night, Sunset Boulevard, Boogie Nights, all that jazz, even uh, modern romance. Um, there's a lot of these. <laughs> Scott Alexander and I actually wrote one, uh, Ed Wood, directed by Tim Burton. But right now we're going to take a look at a project by the king of self-reflexive cinema. Jean-Luc Godard, from 1963, Contempt. Bientôt. Bientôt. Six. Six. One can make the case that almost every Jean-Luc Godard movie is a film about film. Throughout his work, viewers are constantly being made aware of the movie-making process. He uses jump cuts or texts or voiceovers. Godard wants you to know that you're watching a movie. In the opening shot of Contempt, you can see the camera and the dolly track and the boom operator as the opening credits are spoken on the soundtrack. Then the camera turns and points its lens directly at the audience. Contempt just might be the most self-reflexive film of all time. The movie's plot and its production are almost exactly the same. The film's story is about an artistic European director clashing with a vulgar producer while making a big budget picture on the coast of Capri. The production history has producer Carlo Ponti and distributor Joseph E. Levine giving Godard a million dollars to go make a sexy movie with Red Heart Bridget Bardot and American He-Man Jack Palance. And what Godard gave them was contempt, a big F you, subverting their every desire. They wanted spectacle, he gave them a 45 minute scene in a cramped apartment. Bardot's famous blonde locks are covered up in a black wig. And the on-screen producer character may be the biggest dick in the history of film. Ponty and Levine were apoplectic, insisting that Godard go back for reshoots to include at least one nude scene with Bardot. So Godard went and shot a scene that is literally about Bardot's body. She and Michelle Piccoli discussing and critiquing every inch of it. Now, Contempt is definitely an art film, but here's the thing. The movie is actually quite entertaining. Jack Palance is hysterical as the bullying producer. The legendary Fritz Lang brings gravitas to the role of the director. And Piccoli is appropriately squirrely as the weak screenwriter who passive-aggressively pimps out his wife to the producer and can't understand why she turns on him. Plus, there's the lovely Georgia Mole as the translator Girl Friday, the smartest character in the film, and to top it off, an absolutely gorgeous musical score from George De La Rue. And I just love this trailer. It's a great two-minute capsule of the sly wit, energy, and style that makes Jean-Luc Godard a master. La beauté fatale. Fatale.